الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said أذكروا هادما لذات which means remember or remind yourself of hadim al that which literally means the breaker or the destroyer of desires and this is in reference to death the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam urges us and advise, advises us to remember death and remembering death doesn't mean does not mean to sit down and just cry and say i'm going to die because this is going to happen to every single one of us death is a reality and it's going to happen to every single one of us but why does the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tell us to remember death he tells us to remember death so we can act upon what we remind our, ourselves it's like giving inner advice to yourself you remind yourself that yes you will die and you will, you remind yourself of the reality and we need this in arabic the word insan, and everyone here is familiar with this word, uh, most people when they translate it, they say human or person. But the word insan in Arabic, it comes from a verb, it comes from a root word, which means to forget, to forget. And literally, literally the word insan means forgetor, a person who forgets a lot. And we, we, we are forgetters. You, you do many things in your life, and once in a while you remember the reality that yes, you're gonna die. We come to these places, we read Quran, we may see, uh, we may go to the janazah, we may be lucky to go to the janazah and see the person being buried under the ground and that may help us remember death. But how should the person remember death? He should remember death by trying to be a good Muslim. And how do you be a good Muslim? You learn the Islamic knowledge, and you follow it in everything that you do. Everything that you do, you could get good deeds. If you go to work and your niyat is to support your family, you get good deeds from that. If you help someone, anyone, you get good deeds from that, inshallah. If you're patient with your children, your little children, sometimes they make too much noise and you probably want to hit them. Uh, uh, we all have children. But if you're patient for the sake of Allah and you try to practice... Um, Person, you try to practice that patience, you put it into use, you get a reward for that. The Prophet ﷺ, he's the most patient of the creation. He never hit his kids in his whole life. He, he never hit his kids. But I have children, and most of us have children, and sometimes it's hard not to discipline them. Just even if it's, um, even if it's minor. But what I'm trying to say is that when the person is reminded of death, he reminds himself to be a a better person. And the Muslim scholar said that the situation of a good Muslim is like a bird with two wings. One wing has something called khawf. Khawf which means fear. Fear of what? Of the hellfire. Fear of the consequences. Whether it's in this dunya or in the hereafter. Of disobeying Allah. Allah of the guna. Of the haram. And then hope, raja for the jannah. You do the good, and, and even though it's an obligation, even though it's an obligation to support your family, even though it's an obligation to do your five prayers, even though it's an obligation to learn the knowledge, still Allah Ta'ala is so merciful, He rewards us for that obligation. We are rewarded. So, so the person should always put in mind that having khawf is good, and it's right, but also you keep a balance and you have rajat too. You think of the Jannah, and you do what helps you or what br brings you closer to it and you also think of the nar, the hellfire and, and you do what keeps you away from it you do what, what keeps you away from it and that's a mercy from Allah that we have the prophets from Adam all the way to Muhammad all the prophets came with Islam all the prophets told people worship Allah believe in Allah, do not worship idols, do not worship statues, do not worship the sun, do not worship the moon, do not give God physical or created attributes, do not say God is a shape or a form, 
believe in God, but accept that you can't imagine Him. God is beyond our imaginations. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the aqidat, this is the iman of all the prophets from Adam up to Muhammad alayhim as-salatu was salam. And this is the knowledge that is in need of special attention for us and especially for our children. For our children. And here we're speaking about death and this is a reality for everyone. And we said what the Prophet والسلام, said about preparing. And preparing is through education. To, for yourself, for your children, and for the, for the people around you, for our greater community. Insha'Allah Ta'ala. I ask Allah Ta'ala to have mercy upon the, the family of Sister, of Sister Iram Ali and Brother Zafir Qurashi who, who got us together here today. And these type of actions are very, very rewardable, insha'Allah. They give us a chance to read the Qur'an that brings us closer to reality. And it gives us a, a chance to see other Muslims from different countries and to share our experiences with. Um, may Allah Ta'ala have mercy on them. And may Allah give their, their family a lot of patience with their loss. When, when we say, when, when we see a person whose family has died, we say, Allahu ajrakum, which means, may, may Allah increase your reward. What, why do we tell the person who has family that died, may Allah increase your reward? Because the reward of patience, the reward of sabr is very great. And it, it, it's, it's very hard. If you lose a ring that's in your hand for, for a few months or a few years, your, your heart breaks until you find it. How about if you lose a person that's been in your life for tens and tens of years and a person that you, you've shared personal experiences with? The best thing I could do, the best thing we could all do is increase our Islamic education, follow it, and be totally sincere in doing so. And, uh, uh, and of course, be aware and awake that this world is empty. Whatever you have in this world, whatever Allah gave you, whatever material Allah gave you, this is not going to be something you're going to take with you in the grave. The person goes in the grave empty with his actions, with his actions, with the mercy of Allah Ta'ala. This is what we're made for, worshipping Allah. So my final advice is take care of your families, take care of yourselves, increase your education, learn, learn, learn. Because the greatest musibat, the greatest bala for the Muslims in these times is the ignorance of Islamic knowledge. Many, many people say they're Muslim with their mouth and they have no idea what it is to, to really be a true Muslim and to follow the religion. Many people have Muslim names, and, but that doesn't make one Muslim. The Muslim has to believe firmly in Islam and try his best to follow a, uh, a, to follow a lifestyle of a reformist, of an activist, of a person who only wishes good for himself and for other people in his community. May Allah Ta'ala have mercy on us. Barakallahu feekum. Thank you for, for attending and for listening.